I'm the director of uh, Buaiso Brooklyn. Buaiso is a group of indigo dyer and farmers based in Tokushima, Japan and Brooklyn. This studio works kind of like an outpost. People can come here to experience our indigo dyeing. Indigo dyeing is the oldest dyeing technique in human history. In Tokushima, around 18th century, it was very popular to wear indigo in Edo, which is the old, older name of Tokyo area. They are kind of competing each other to get darker indigo. The darker, the cooler, because it's more expensive. You need multiple depths to get darker color. Those are vintage t-shirts that we hand dyed in Brooklyn. This is called Kanyu Technique. They may intentionally make those clocks and then we rub indigo pigment into it. And uh, we can basically dye any kind of natural material. They are cow skull that our friend found it and uh, we dyed it. <laughs> there used to be 1,800 uh, indigo farmers. Now it's only five sukumo farmers left in Tokushima. We are actually the sixth one and it's a dying culture. Buaiso itself is founded about three years ago in Japan and uh, we have this studio space since this April. Tokushima is a center of indigo culture in Japan. We have our own indigo farm. We only use leaf part. We harvest this during summertime. During winter time, we compost it. After about 120 days of composting, it looks like this. And this is called sukumo. Only four ingredients we have in a vat. Wood, ash water, calcium hydroxide, and uh, wheat bran, this is a source of sugar. And uh, it starts fermenting again. After 10 days, it's ready to die. And this recipe is called jigoku date. The vat lasts about two, three months. Some vat lasts longer, some just dies faster. We don't know why. Today, one of our clients is bringing his t-shirts and uh, we will dye it in here. What would happen if you made tea out of it and drank it? We do have indigo tea. Really? Yeah. Do you want to try? Mm -hmm. A little bit of a floral taste to it. It's, a, it's leaf. It's that. And uh, also, but the leaf doesn't make it brew, so we use this. A little bit of the flower? Yeah, it's called a butterfly pea from Thailand. So I'll do the bottom and then squeeze well to let all air out first. Oh. Like just squeeze well and then spread. Try to massage the fabric mm -hmm. as much as possible as you spread. Mm, looks good. <laughs> <laughs> so we do this one, hold here like this. Okay. Yep. Like yeah. Mm -hmm. Swim it through. Mm -hmm. You have to wash it and soak it under hot water tonight. I'll give you instruction. Okay. There's some homeworks to do tonight. Okay. Yeah. Here, I'll need my new favorite pants. And this is your shirt. It's good. You like it? Awesome. Yeah. yeah. September, those master dyers from Tokushima are coming oh, wow. to Brooklyn. So we have more advanced class. Now we can dye only linen or cotton, mm -hmm. but we can dye silk, wool, and have some kind of like a advanced uh, tie dye class. So if you'd like to join, come back. Yeah.